welcome to a new um, new segment on this channel that I have no idea what to call because I literally just came up with it. It's really nothing more than an excuse for me to knit and talk at the same time. So um, yeah, I am currently in the process of making a scarf that I will probably give as a gift or well I, I made it with the plan in mind to give it to someone but I'm not sure if I'm going to give it to that someone. Hopefully I will. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to talk to you not because I think anyone's actually watching my videos and that I have a following of any kind. I wanted to make this video more for myself because I think it kind of like exposure therapy because I have a lot of things that I'm ashamed of that I don't that I, I shouldn't be ashamed of and one of those things is actually making videos for YouTube but I'll uh, I'll get to that later so the first thing that I have been ashamed of because I think it's strange is that I have a teddy bear called Bubu that I got from my family when I got home from the hospital when I had just been born. So when I came home with my mom after literally just being born, I got this teddy bear called Bubu <clears throat> and I've had him ever since and I have I've had him in my bed every night since then because I sleep better when I hug him. It works kind of the same with people, like if I have a person beside me in bed to hug, I sleep better, but <laughs> it doesn't really work with people because they get warm and I hate being warm when I sleep, so I always end up pushing them away <clears throat> whenever I'm sleeping next to someone. But yeah, I have a teddy bear that I sleep next to and hug religiously every night so that I can sleep. And uh, honestly, why should I be ashamed of the fact that I sleep better with something that comforting in my arms? It's strange and I don't think I need to be ashamed of it. And if you think that's strange that I do that, then you're just judgmental and mean. So that's that. And then one other thing is that I always like collect things. It's not like I wake up one morning and I'm like, oh, you know what? Well, this would be cool to collect. I'd be able to like show it to people and they'd be like, wow, that's such a cool collection, dude. It's more like I get one thing and I think I need more of this thing. So for example, when I was a kid, I collected erasers. I had over 300 individual erasers, so none of them were duplicates. They were all unique in my collection and I had, I seriously had over 300 of them and that, I, that was a lot of money. <laughs> they were so expensive. I bought these that you could put together like a puzzle. They were like animals, vehicles, foods, all kinds of stuff. I had a lot of those. If I could get back all that money, I'd be rich. Nowadays, I have two of that kind of collection going. Prisms that I hang in my window so that when the sun shines in, it creates lots and lots of rainbows in my room. The reason I collect them isn't really because I want them all in my window. It's more because I just, I like prisms. I don't know why, I just like them a lot. The other thing that I'm currently collecting is the one that's kind of strange and that people <laughs> have told me is kind of strange. Um, I collect pieces of metal that I find on the street or on the ground. Uh, so for example, if I'm walking along and I find a screw on the ground, I will pick it up, put it in my pocket and then when I get home, I'll add it to my collection. This, I, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. This is something that I've always done, or at least I've always had this like fascination for pieces of metal, like screws, bolts, that kind of thing. I don't know. I think I just like that they were part of something bigger then they got kind of lost and they have literally no meaning on their own. They have no bigger function on their own. It's only when you put them together with something else that they 
so fucking important. They're like zeros. Zeros have no individual value, but when you put them next to another number, they make a world of difference. I don't know, maybe this deep explanation is just me trying to justify that I pick up scraps of metal from the street but yeah I don't know <laughs> I collect pieces of metal junk and the thing is it's just metal I don't collect plastic or things like that it's just metal <laughs> I always get these weird looks when I'm walking along and suddenly I just stop and I bend down and I pick up the tiniest little screw and I'm like trying to do it discreetly, like, oh, I'm just, I just saw this thing here that I'm gonna pick up, but everyone knows that I literally just picked up junk from the street and then put it in my pocket and continued walking. Like, I didn't go to a trash can to put it in there, I put it in my pocket and then I went on with my life. <laughs> and I've gotten some um, weird looks and some weird comments on that, but I don't know, I like them. I like my little pieces of junk and I don't know why, but I do. And that is something that I'm trying not to feel weird about and I'm trying not to let people's comments about it get to my head. Um, because why should I be ashamed of something that I enjoy doing? It's not hurting anyone. It's not hurting me. If anything, it's just good that they get off the street so that little animals don't try to eat them, people don't walk on them and get injured, stuff like that. So there are many things that I'm weirdly ashamed of, but I think the last main one that I really have to stop with is that I'm ashamed of the fact that I make YouTube videos. And I think it's because I wanted to make content for YouTube for Honestly, as long as I can remember, I have had such a big admiration for YouTubers who pour their heart and soul into videos to make people laugh, to make people think, to make people feel happy and good about themselves, and just sharing their lives and inspiring people. I have always had such a huge, huge admiration for those people and I've always loved working with film in different ways and just editing small little clips actually i've started <laughs> this is my third time this is my third try i would say starting a youtube channel so i have two other first videos out on the internet that are of course private and <laughs> i think they'll stay private for a while but yeah i don't know i think i feel like i'm too old to start a youtube channel and that is honestly just wrong because i am i just turned 19 and i am definitely not too old to be doing something that I want to do. But still, there's this kind of shame that makes me too self-conscious of the videos I make to actually share them with people and say proudly that, hi, I have a YouTube channel. I make videos that I enjoy making. And the thing is, I have lots and lots of friends and family that I know would support me but still I'm so apprehensive when it comes to my own creative process. That's the thing that I've, has always been a problem for me that I have a really, really hard time letting people in on my creative process and I hate showing things to people that aren't completely done, that I am not 100% proud of. And my YouTube channel is one of those things because for some reason I feel like I have to be successful before I can show it to people and be like, hi, I did this. As you hear, it's kind of backwards. It would be so much easier for me to actually spread my work I'm doing here if I let people I know would support me see my work. <laughs> you get you get me? You know? Uh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why I'm so insecure about my own creative things that I do. It's, it's just like this right now and I don't really like it. I feel like if I tell people that, hi, I have a YouTube channel, you should check out my videos. I feel like if I do that, I'm just looking for attention and I'm not, I'm not genuine 
in what I'm doing. I'm not doing it because I like doing it, I'm doing it because I get attention from it. And that's really not the case. I just genuinely love making videos, working with film and then sharing it with people because it is it's just something that I love doing and I always have. One of the biggest dreams I have is being able to work with my own creativity and make it my job. Now I'm not saying I my biggest dream is for YouTube to be my job. I'm just saying that everything that I do that I make with my own creativity is something that I genuinely love. So when I feel like there is the slightest chance someone would think I'm doing it for attention. There's this mental block that just says, oh, well, shit, okay, no, you can't share that. People will think you're a fucking attention whore. And then I just can't do it. And this is something that I've really been trying to work on. And I've actually taken some steps forward. I have told my closest friends and my sisters about this YouTube channel and they've all been super supportive. None of them, what I know of at least, think I'm doing this just for attention. I think most people that actually know me know that I love being creative and I love sharing things that I love and I love working with film overall and I don't know I just I just shouldn't be ashamed of the fact that I'm doing something that I love something that I've wanted to do since I was like 10 and now I'm 19, that's almost 10 years that I wanted to do this, but I haven't done it. I am actually doing this and this time I'm going to pull through. God, I'm making this so dramatic, but I feel like if I don't say this and put it out there, I'm just going to back out and pretend like nothing happened. And I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to back out again. I want to do this. So I'm going to keep doing this, I'm going to keep making videos that I enjoy making and I enjoy editing and I am going to upload them and I am going to let them stay there. Like I know no one who starts doing YouTube is ever perfect from the beginning and I feel like I have to give myself that time to actually get better at what I like doing. That's kind of hard when your practice or whatever you should call it is public for everyone to see. I don't know, I guess that's just something that I have to get better at. I have to get better at being brave when it comes to sharing the things that I work with creatively, the things that I love doing. I think that if you have these kind of things that you've wanted to do, that you love doing, but you're afraid of doing them because of other people's judgment or you're afraid you won't be any good at it or that it's too late to start now because you're too old or whatever. Just tell those voices in your head and the people around you who say that, just l literally tell them to shut up and then go do what you wanna do. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, including yourself, then just do what you want to do and do it unapologetically. Do it with pride because the things you love doing are the things that make you you. And you should be proud of yourself. Just like I am going to try being proud of the things I'm making on this channel, you should try your uttermost to be proud of the things that you love doing. It's never too late to do something that you love and it's never too late to get better at things that you love doing. I guess that is all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you for taking your time to sit down and listen to me rant uh, for however long this video is going to be in the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!